welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would do a classic let's get ready with me. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time so just thought I would give you like a little update of get ready with me. I'm going to do my skincare, I'm going to do my makeup, I'm going to do my hair. I'll even show you like what I'm wearing for the day. So today is actually the Monday the 17th of May so in England we are now able to go out to like restaurants and sit indoors and stuff so that is what we are doing this evening so I thought I would just get ready properly for that so yeah I'm gonna do my makeup I've actually not even done my skincare yet either so I'm gonna do my skincare quickly as well my skincare routine at the moment is like very basic it is just a wash your face then I use my all-time favourite pixie glow tonic I have actually got tan on my face and my hands are a bit are they, yeah they're a bit on the orange side they um it's like the next day after I've washed it off so it always tones down a little bit and I always feel like when they're next to my face they look even worse I've got a few little breakups on my chin as well. That's some this glow tonic sometimes stings like if you've got um some breakouts, but it is absolutely fine on my skin any other time. And I think it's like good that it stings. Then I just go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is honestly like one of my favourite products. Um I have been getting, I actually over on my Instagram. I put up a little um, like recommendation box because I had been getting like these little under skin spots. You can see them more prominently when I've got like my makeup on. Um, and I actually asked some like advice on it, like what I can use to like help that to sort of get rid of them. And a lot of people actually got back to me and said that they found that with using this too much. And my night cream has actually run out like for the last week or two i think even like two weeks and i haven't like just got around to getting a night cream so i've just been using that sorry if the position has changed my um stories just went i've got to delete some footage so yeah um i can't even remember exactly what i was saying oh yeah so about my night cream so i ran out of my night cream and then um just been like using this as an alternative until i like get around to getting one and um apparently that if you use that too much it can do that so sometimes like you need a little break from it um so i did have like a day or two break um but my skin just like needs that cream so i'm actually gonna order um a night cream and i'm gonna order another day cream as well to just use because sometimes like, if i don't wear makeup in the day i will um like just pop that on like throughout the day to just keep my skin like hydrated and stuff um but maybe yeah like it's too much and it is like an expensive product to just use like sparingly like that um even though it has lasted me like such a long time and i think it's been since christmas so what is that like five months this lasted me which is actually good for like a face cream and it's only a 50 ml pot as well and i don't like scrimp and scrape with it i use it quite a bit so the steps i've not just told you that i've done is i've just put a face oil on this face oil is just from Superdrug, and it's the calm skin balancing face oil comes this tiny little pot which has honestly lasted me forever i use this morning and evening and it's just really helped i had like quite a lot of scarring i've still got like a bit of scarring and stuff from like new breakouts but it's like really helped with um it's really helped with like um, reducing my scarring and then just as my base i use the brightening youth glow by charlotte tilbury absolutely love this it just sort of like blurs out any redness and stuff and it's also just like a primer really okay so i have actually asked over my instagram as well for you guys to ask me some questions that i can talk through with this get ready with me so i will be answering some of those too just thought i'd quickly just like get my base makeup on before i start so what i like to do with my makeup if i'm having like a full makeup day so say if like i'm filming a video with you guys or taking some pictures for instagram or even just like going out and i want to feel like my best i'll start off with the mac studio fix liquid and this is in shade nc27 when i've got a fake town base i literally use the tiniest amount of this even that may be a bit much if you've got the pump to it i always forget to buy the pump um 
then it would literally be like half a pump to a pump so yeah just pop that on and then i just dot this around my face some days um i'll just wear this but i do this this is actually probably a bit much yeah and i'll just blend this all in this is a bit much like normally i do use a bit less than this so yeah, I'll just blend this all in and when I've got fake tan on it blends in like absolutely perfectly on my skin. So I've actually set up the ring light on my dressing table today. Um so to let me know like how the lighting is, I've had to shut the curtains because I had to shut the curtains because it's just like not a good view otherwise yeah i've got the light on still but i'm not 100 percent sure on the lighting so just bear with me with these sort of videos with the lighting until i perfect it you may hear nelly as well in the background Nels is just downstairs with ross while i'm getting ready so she might be whinging currently as you can hear they're bickering about something Okay, then the next step, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and I literally would just use a half a pump of that. I don't use a full pump. And again, that has lasted me such a long time. So I'll just dot this over my face. And then again, just blend this all in. Um, and this just gives you that extra bit of coverage. And it also just like blurs out like any imperfections so the studio fix the reason i actually use that underneath is to just give me like a bit of a base um and also to just give like the foundation not so much for like a matte effect because studio fix is quite like a dewy ish foundation on my skin anyway um so yeah it always makes my foundation like my foundation finish so much nicer with that underneath but i know that charlotte tilbury do the what is it called um hollywood filter i think it is um yeah i think that's what it's called and i think that basically is just like a more lightweight version so i will actually give that a go soon okay so yeah this is now my like base and all i'll do now is just pop on a little bit of concealer just to brighten up any areas and then i will also go in with a little bit of contour as well so let's start asking some questions let me find them okay so for the first question that i've been asked is what fake tan do you use so i've actually been using for since christmas i've used um, a filter by Molly May, and I absolutely love the colour. Um, it doesn't smell too much. It doesn't transfer hardly. Like once you've washed it off, it doesn't transfer either. Um, this concealer, by the way, is just my always. I've been using this, the Maybelline Eraser one. And um, I'm just going to answer this question with this on my face. So yeah, I've been using my filter by Molly May. And then recently, I've actually, I got kindly sent by Skinny Tan a, um, what is it actually called? Liquid Gold. It's like an oil tan. And it is absolutely beautiful. Like the colour is so lovely. And I swear like it gets darker like over the few days. Um, and it just doesn't like last me so much longer. And I think it's like more of a natural sort of colour only thing with it is is like yesterday i woke up and i realized i missed my arm because it's like a gradual one it develops you don't necessarily see it like on your skin straight away it does come out a bit of a color um but it's not like an instant molly may sort of tan or like a bondi sands tan that is the only good thing about like that is enough that is a good thing about that tan like an instant tan is that it's basically done and then obviously like it gets darker so yeah my go-to tan would probably be the filter by molly may and the skinny tan gut liquid gold oil it just makes my skin feel like really um nourished as well with that um the other thing as well is just make sure you moisturize like sometimes i do forget to moisturize when i've got fake tan on and i do realize that my skin just like it doesn't hold the tan as much whereas if i moisturize it holds it like 10 times better 
Um, another question is, do you contour? So you're literally just seeing it as um, I'm doing my makeup. So I don't, yeah, I would say I do contour, but I'm like literally no pro at it. Don't really know what I'm doing. I just wing it as I go along. So yeah, just use like my little concealer. I highlight like these areas under my eyes. I don't use concealer for coverage really. Um, I just literally use it to brighten any areas up. And then I just use this basic Berry M contour stick. Only recently got this. And I'll literally just put it along these areas here. Please don't shout at me if I'm not doing this right. Generally don't really know what I'm doing. But it sort of just like works for me. So yeah, do it along here. And then do it inwards on my nose area. And yeah, and then I'll just blend this all in. And it sort of just gives me a slight bit of definition without it all being like powder. I then do put a little bit of bronzer, as you'll see in a minute, over these areas as well. But the only thing is, I just think when you use so much powder, it can just make your makeup look like really cakey. Where if you use cream products, it all just like blends in really nicely and looks like a more natural sort of makeup base so yeah the answer to that is i do contour but i'm not 100 percent sure if i like do it correctly right so russ has asked a question i've literally just seen this would you rather eat one teaspoon of russ's poo or drink five liters of his way he's actually disgusting russ yeah. why did you write that question why did you write that question? About eating your poo or drinking your wee? <laughs> he said he'd rather know. He wants to know what I'd rather do. <laughs> I don't even know. I'd probably end up, yeah, I'd probably eat a teaspoon of his poo. Oh, yeah, because then it's like over and done with. We're drinking five litres of his wee. Like, that's just disgusting, isn't it? How's H&B going? So I think they mean hugs and blisses. So yeah, it's actually going so well. If any of you haven't like watched my videos before and this is like new, then thank you so much for clicking on today's video and please do hit the subscribe button as I'd love to have you over on my channel. I'll also pop my Instagram name here and I'll also pop our hugs and blisses name here too. So hugs and blisses is actually mine and Rossi's like new business venture and it is doing like bell tents and like events and stuff. So I'll pop some pictures up here now for you to see what that sort of thing is. Just thought I'd give like a little debrief for anyone that don't actually know what it is. But yeah, it's honestly going so well. Like we're so happy with how it's going. It's been very like time consuming with the fact of like replying to messages and we didn't really expect it to be um, as like as many messages and as many inquiries as we have had and um, we've actually had like quite a few bookings as well um i don't actually know exactly how many but we've had like quite a few more than we expected if i'm honest we've actually set up as well um obviously we've set up a few times for pictures and stuff but we actually set up for our first customer um last week was it last week no, it'd be not last week, the week before now. And yeah, that just, it just went really well. It went really smoothly. Like me and Russell have got our own little thing that like, going on with it. Like he does certain things. I do certain things. We hardly speak to each other when we're like actually doing it. Cause we both just like crack on and do it. Um, but yeah, like we are so excited to see where it can go and what like possibilities. Yeah, like with what things we can achieve with it. So yeah, thank you so much for asking. It is going absolutely amazing and we're so happy with like where it's gone at the moment. So now I'm just using, I just went over with my Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. That is in shade 2 Medium. And I just go over that with like my whole face, just really lightly though, so it doesn't look too cakey. And then I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. Absolutely love love this bronzer i think i've actually had a question about bronzer yeah fave bronzer so this is this one the Too Faced chocolate bronzer one it smells like chocolate which everybody obviously loves and two it's just like a lovely matte bronzer um and then i just add like my shimmering stuff with my highlight 
Now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of blusher and I just use this Benefit. This is I think like a classic girl bronzer. Like I think so many people, not bronzer, blusher. So many people use this. And like every makeup tutorial I watch, like they're using this blusher. And I absolutely love it. It's so pigmented. And it's just like a lovely peachy summer blusher. I remember I didn't even used to wear blush and now I literally love it so much. It just gives you like a bit of colour to your face, breaks up all like the um, foundation sort of look. And then I'll just go in with like a slight bit of highlighter, just the top of my cheekbones. I hardly use any of this nowadays, where before I literally used to cake this on. I don't know about anyone else. But I think that was just like the look then, wasn't it? Like we used to just cake highlighter on, like the more the better. Okay, so that is my base makeup. So it doesn't take me too long, as you can see. Um, and yeah, relative now it is basically just like mascara, eyebrows. I'll put a little bit of eyeshadow on, lip liner, mascara. But yeah, this is like a full face um makeup for me like i don't wear this every day but if i want to feel like good and my best and this is like the base makeup that i will wear let's ask another question so this says what's your go to outfit so while i'm answering this i'm gonna do my eyeshadow so this eyeshadow i'm using is just the charlotte tilbury easy eye palette to the charlotte charlotte darling look and it's just like these really lovely like peachy pinky colors and i just use these three color these are the three colors i'm going to use today i have used the other ones but these are like my go-to and i'll just literally just run it all over i like mix the three colors and just run it all over my eyelid sometimes i'll do like a more in-depth sort of eyeshadow look but i'm not really good at it to be honest so i just like sort of wing it just give it a bit of colour do use more of like the peachy tone just like in the middle just think this makes my um eye colour stand out a little bit more as well with this eyeshadow so i don't know if you can see so yeah what's my go-to outfit so i'd say like my go-to sort of outfit has like really changed over the last like year like now my go-to outfit would honestly be like a pair of jogging bottoms because on it like comfort is now like a key for me I have to be comfy i can't stand being uncomfortable in my clothes um and i just think because they're like really trendy at the moment like you can definitely go out and pull them off whereas before i wouldn't have um yeah so a pair of like jogging bottoms and then i'd say like a pair of converse with them a leather jacket a plainish sort of top yeah, like that is my go-to standard outfit that you'll probably see me in um, seven times out of ten. And if I'm not wearing something like that, like if I want to do, want to like wear something else, then I'll probably say like a blazer, love a blazer. Like if I'm feeling like getting ready properly, like even today, I may wear a blazer. Um, yeah, I do love a blazer. I just think they're like so sort of dressy but casual at the same time if you get what i mean um what else so i'll probably pair like a blazer with say some jeans um jeans are just uh they're just not comfortable are they like i have actually recently got a pair from sheen that are comfortable jeans like they are really comfy and i've got like a pair from nasty girl that are comfy but my Primark jeans that I've got recently, I'm actually going to Primark today, um, so I may actually pick some up. All my Primark jeans that I've had are just like far too small for me, and um, the ones I got recently, they was just too big. So it's like really hard with Primark sizing sometimes um, to like get them to fit where I'm like petite around the waist but then um i have got like a little bit of a bum I haven't got like a massive bum but i've got a little bit of a bum and then my thighs they're not big but they're like bigger than say my bottom part of my leg it's just really hard to get like a bright fitting jean from somewhere like primark but yeah i'm actually gonna yeah that's a point i'm gonna have a look today 
at them. So yeah, my like go-to outfit would be jogging bottoms, Converse, leather jacket and a top. And if I'm getting like proper ready, it'd be like a blazer with jeans and a nice top. Like jeans and nice top, you just, yeah, you just can't go wrong with that sort of outfit. So I'm now gonna just quickly finish off my eyebrows. I'll quickly just zoom through me doing this. I just used, you probably all know already, but I just used the L'Oreal Unbeliever Brow. Um, it's like a liquid lipstick, like lip gloss sort of bottle, and then I just pop it on a angled brush. This is just a Spectrum A17 brush. So yeah, I'm going to do this now. Okay, so that is the eyebrows done. I actually need to order another one of these. It's like really running out now, and I'm just trying to scrimp and scrape to just get some out. But I just need that. I need to just order one. I don't know about anyone else, but my makeup always runs out all at the same time. So then it ends up costing me a fortune um all in one sort of go but i just need to order a few bits so i'm going to do my mascara now let's answer another question what's been your sa favorite stage with nelly so do you know what i was actually having i can't remember who i was having this conversation with um i think i can't actually fully remember but um i think my favorite stage is like now i've absolutely loved like every stage of her being obviously like loved her being new newborn like at each stage i absolutely love it but if i'm now like thinking back this is like my favorite sort of stage and i hear people say that like so often like when they're around about three it is honestly just such a nice age like she has a mind of her own she's got her own little personality which it just makes like she honestly just makes us laugh so much um yeah like she's honestly just like so 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 funny like she's honestly like my little best friend that like, i said that to someone that i was, can't actually remember who i was talking to but she's honestly like my um little best friend and yeah you just have like a conversation like when they're newborn it can be like really challenging because you don't have that like obviously interaction like they can't talk to you but obviously it's so lovely because they're so like little and they're just newborn and they're like amazing but um it can be hard if you haven't got any other like human interaction like say before like ross would go out to work and it would just be like me and nels and i was quite lucky really like i didn't struggle with it too much because i would like leave the house and i'd be around people and stuff like that but some people i've heard it can just get like really tough like just being not having like that human interaction of having that conversation whereas when they get to like the age that Nels is at now like I could literally be with just Nels for like days on end and um like I would be fine because like she has full-on conversations with me the thing is she can be testing because she's got her own little personality and her absolutely like sassy ways like that just makes me laugh because she's got her own personality but um yeah she can be testing and push my buttons like she knows how to but she generally is just like such a lovely little girl like, i'm not even just saying that because she's like my own but i generally just believe that she is like such lovely little girl like she's so kind she's so like caring she's so so loving like she absolutely loves a cuddle like sometimes i'll just be sitting on the sofa and she'll just like move my arm so i like cuddle her which is so lovely like to have um a little girl like that but i generally believe that is because like the way we are like i absolutely love a cuddle i am all about like all that love like, i love it so much so i think that is why um she's like that as well okay so i'm just doing my mascara so firstly i use my eyelash curlers and then i'm just going in with my pillow talk push up lashes mascara again i need a new one of this normally this is like such a quick thing when like it's a new mascara but because this is an old one it just does just take me a little bit of time and you don't get like the full effect of this mascara when it's running out but I have had this since Christmas as well. Like, it's honestly lasted such a long time, um, like a product. So, uh, can't really complain. Yeah, so that is... I do just put a tiny bit on, like, my bottom lashes as well. Not too much. Oh, we've got a little Nunu. Did you hear me talking about you? Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. What's that down your top? What is that? show everybody your beautiful outfit 
Say, look at me, everyone. Thank you, everyone. We need to do your hair, don't we? Yeah. I swear, on these videos, she's always got, like, such messy hair. You've got crazy hair, haven't you? Mm. Her hair is, like, so frizzy and fluffy. So, it needs to be tamed, don't it? Right, Mummy's just going to finish getting ready. So, yeah, now is just going to be a bit of... Oh, you okay? A bit of lip liner. And I just use a MAC lip liner. I love all their lip liners. And this is just the Boldly Bare. And I just outline my natural sort of lip line. I don't overline my lips. That is really hard to do while you're talking. Oh, you got to mummy. Oh, does it look nice? Mm -mm. Oh, no. No, oh, that's not kind, is it? Just saying how kind you was. No, no. You a kind little girl? No, no. Mm -hmm. Are you kind? Mm -hmm. You are, aren't you? Yeah. Give mummy a kiss on the cheek, show how kind you are. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> so, yeah, that is a bit of lip liner, and then I'll just put a bit of lip gloss on. So now I'm going to quickly rush through and do my hair. I feel like I've been just chatting your ear off for a long time. I feel like my makeup has took longer than normal, but it's because I'm explaining everything, doing everything a bit slower. So yeah, I'm going to do my hair and I'm just going to do my natural, um, my natural, what well, is sort of natural, um, my go-to sort of like everyday hairstyle, which is my like loose curls. So I just section my hair, I need to turn the straighteners on. Yeah, so I just section my hair and I'll show you like one of the sections how I do it. Okay, so now I'm gonna just do my hair. The straighteners are heated up and I thought I would answer a few um, more questions while I do my hair. So basically I section my oh, hair I'm into- cold. You cold? Yeah. Oh, okay, go see daddy. daddy. Yeah, so I section my hair into two or three um, pieces. This will be like three pieces. And then I just section like each part. So this will be like in three bits, as you can see. And then, straighten over the top part and then just curl it under curl it back and it just gives me like a little loose curl like it's just really really easy and simple to do like this honestly takes me say 10 minutes at the most to do my hair like this um and it just makes me feel like much more put together um, then just my simple like straight hair or um, just like putting my hair up and it doesn't take too long but that is another thing I think about um, being a mum is that we don't take like a lot of time on ourselves and I just think it's like so important to like just spend like 10 minutes getting ready or I know like I've spent like half an hour but I can now because Nelly is that like a bit older and Ross is like able to watch her and stuff whereas it's not always been like that for me like some days I'd honestly just not get dressed and stay in my nightgown all day but obviously it gets like trust me it gets easier when you're able to do that but even if you can just spend like five minutes it just makes you feel so much better just having that bit of time for you to just get ready, make yourself feel good. So yeah, as you can see, and I'm just gonna do that for the rest of my hair, and then I'll catch up with you all once I'm fully ready and fully, like, I'll even, like, I'll talk to you once I'm dressed. So I am now fully ready, so I've just went for a sort of dressier outfit. So I'm just wearing some black, like, shiny leather, um genie sort of trousers can't actually believe i'm wearing this sort of outfit in may like normally it is like a small summer outfit by now but this is like an autumn sort of outfit but um it is like cold out there so you need to wrap up so yeah i'm just wearing those and i'm just wearing a plain basic like slinky sort of um t-shirt and then i've just popped on a black blazer this blazer is actually from pretty little thing and it was a while back now but it's like such a basic sort of go-to blazer you can just pop it on and it makes an outfit feel quite dressy um i think it's because it's got like those gold buttons and i've just matched it with some gold jewelry this necklace is from primark these earrings are also from primark as well absolutely love primark for their like 
um, fashion sort of jewellery. So yeah, thank you so much for all watching today's video and if you are new then please do hit subscribe button. If you aren't new but you aren't subscribed then make sure you do hit subscribe button as it helps my channel massively. Please like the video if you did enjoy and like you like these sort of chatty get ready videos as I absolutely love doing them. They're so like easy for me to do and I feel like they're like the most sort of real videos from just sitting here getting ready and chatting to you all. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all on Facebook. Thursday. Bye. I know you've heard it all before, but you are the love of my life. I knew when you came through the door that you are the love of my life.